Yeah, okay, the volume on this game is going to need a little bit of work here. Oh, and I have a pop-up from Windows Firewall Defender. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice, uh, minimalistic UI. I feel like that's updated because that's pretty impressive for, what, 2013? If this is when they made this. Hello, Shinigami. How you doing? Um, this guard looks like he needs some help. I don't really remember Neverwinter having a floating castle. Maybe it's just been a while. But, uh, yeah. Oh, the graphics look pretty fucking nice for 2013. We just tried Revelation Online, like, last week, and... Remember all that, uh... Remember all the pop-in we were seeing? Yeah, we're not seeing any of that here. Thank you for the, uh... The words. Here, let me, uh, boost up the, uh, the voice a little bit. Let's boost that up. We're gonna have to really learn the audio of this game. We'll figure it out. Oh god, I can't move while firing! Okay, so it's one of these. Oh, but I got this, like, special dodgy dodge. Look at this. Special dodgy dodge, and I, like, I fade out of existence. Nice. Alright, already. Oh yeah, and it's, like, auto-locking us on? This is just a... This isn't an action game. This is a hybrid tab targeting system. I was not expecting that. I thought this was Double actually tab, action. It's great as all the quests are fully voiced to me. That's what makes this Dungeons and Dragons experience amazing. Yeah, not, a lot of Dungeons and Dragons things aren't voiced, are they? If you think about it. So this, if they're all fully voiced here, that's definitely pretty unique for Dungeons and Dragons. I can see my aggro above my name. Where, what do you mean? Like up here? Oh, oh. This little thing? Oh, that's so tiny. I, I can't go down the stairs. What's over here? I explore a little bit, so don't mind me. I'm very aware that I don't have to be over here. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Oh, yeah, yeah there you go. I was wondering if they did some shit like this. I was thinking, like, you know, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Is there shit I can find if I just stray off the path? And turns out, yes, yes there is. What is that? Is that just like a box in the ground? It is. The volume, the default volumes of this game is not very good. Like, I, I'm trying to make it sound decent, but it's so difficult. I, I hate already a little bit how low my range is. I feel like it shouldn't be so low. Um, I'm looking this way, it's down from about 120 FPS to about 71 FPS, 70 FPS. So, takes definitely a bit of a dip, but I look over there, it's like, oh, hello, 120 FPS, which is the cap, by the way. It's the max it'll go up to. This game is definitely probably optimized towards 60 FPS, so... In major cities, I'm not expecting to hold, you know, 120 FPS. Requires thievery skill or kit. Oh, so there's some things only certain classes over here can access. Like, I'm not a rogue, so I can't technically use this, I guess. I'm missing a kit to allow me to. That's sad. I wonder if that's always there, if that's like, oh well, you missed your chance. Because you didn't pick this class. That was really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Not a lot of binding places for skills, so... It's definitely not gonna be a thing where I have to memorize gigantic hotbars, but it's also gonna be one of those things where I have to be really picky about what I equip. Here's a nature interact. I have a nature skill, I think it just said. Okay, so every class has something that they can do in that case that they don't need, like, a kit for. Is there loot over here? There is. They're being real consistent about where they place loot. Oh god, double tap is a thing. No, 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 no. Double tap to roll sprint off. Oh, thank god. Okay. Say, so please, please don't make that a thing. Please. I gotta say, the past four MMOs that we've tried, this is the best so far. You announce in front of a request until at least one character has reached level 15. You purchase a founder's pack and you have transferred Zen into the game. Yeah, that's kind of fucked. In order to start a guild, you need a full party of players that are on the same map. All party players must be level 15 or have transferred Zen into the game and none of the party can already be in a guild. 
Also, we have yet to find the screen that will tell us how much uh, Zen is. Purchase a bag from the Zen market and then bag slots. Okay, so bag slots are going to end up being kind of a thing. Would you like to add these members as friends? We can't because it's so good. Oh, I thought it was going to let me get around it. I thought it was going to let me get around it. The fucking cheeky bastards. Oh, hello. Ow! I suffered an injury. Minor injuries in the same location. Upgrades the injury from minor to severe. Use oh. an injury kit or stand by a campfire to remove one minor injury. How do we get? Do I? Can I dodge through it? Yes. Was that literally just to teach you about my injuries? Easy peasy. Yes. Oh, I helped to steal the crown and never win Oh. oh. Why did he- why did he run off? Did you skip through your dialogue with him? I went through the whole dialogue, I don't know why he ran off. Uh, I think- I think if you finish your dialogue, he like runs off without letting me even see what he says. That's kind of that... weird. They need to- I- I just got to the guy, I started listening to his dialogue, and then all of a sudden he just fucking runs off. Cause I guess you like... Probably didn't listen, you like read it. And then just skip through. Well, either way, get this, uh, chest over here. Um, I couldn't open this chest. That chest I can. Um. That's weird, the game seems bugged then. Uh, talk to Gothwin. Oh yeah, he fucking ran off, so I can't talk to him now. I never finished talking to him. Um, okay, that's a severe negative on the game. Uh, what do I do? Is it because I'm the party leader? Alright, now we know not to focus on the party leader talking. Got it. What, what does it tell you to do? It tells me to return to Hothadon. Do you have a point where you can leave from? Yup. I can leave from right, right here. Alright, try leaving. Because I, I can't do anything. It just tells me to talk to the guy who's not here because you talk to him first. Uh. That help? is weird. What do I do? Uh, restart the instance, so I'll, I'll, I'll run you through it again. Uh... How do I restart the instance? Can you, uh, go back to the start and leave and then re-enter? I, I don't... I don't know. Or break party and then, uh... Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what if I like leave the room? And then I come back. No, he's still not there. What the fuck? <gasps> Game, how could you do this to me? <laughs> I'm not saying I never experienced this before, but this help. is the first I remember Slash that mod. had that issue. Slash mod help me. Game master. How do I get a game master to help me? Do I have to just log out? Like, alright, so the instance should have reset. None of us are in it. So let's go back in. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah, my, my quest. My quest tells me to come back in here and talk to Gothwin again. And the enemies have reset. Hopefully he's there, and if he is, don't talk to him. It might just be how this specific NPC was programmed to react. Also the fact that you're not even supposed to have any friends at this point. 
But this many years of the game being out, I'm surprised that it's still a thing. Van Castle, we'll hold them off. Fucking destroyed. Just utterly destroyed. It looks looks and like I feel like we're over leveled. I don't think we're over leveled. I think this is just designed to be easy. And probably also designed to be soloed. Looks like she's clipping through something. Ready for our next move? Look, there's like lines on the screen in front of her. She's clipping through the branch. Oh shit, that's bad map design. There's like a branch sticking. According to Gothwin, Wait, that's what? what? The crown as well. This is it. Time to put down the Nasha Rebellion why? and cover the crown. You're going to need a distraction to keep the Nashas off your back. I don't know why that's there, off. first of all. Because it's not oriented properly, and it's a 2D image. Yeah. I, I don't know why that's there. That's actually really stupid. It's like there's a tree underground. Oh, it's right here too. It's supposed to be some maybe something like a like I don't know like brambles. I don't know why she's clipping through it. That's that just seems like bad. This map design. one looks fine, but this one it's like they put it there and then like the house uh, collider looked like it pushed it over. But yeah, so far I am liking this. Also, it also runs really smooth. Not like, you know, 120, 144 FPS smooth, but for the time, at the start of the 60 FPS craze, this is pretty smooth. And I do appreciate that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sometimes I go to interact with something and it, and I hit F and it just selects you instead. That's not where we're going. Yeah, I had that issue too. Ah, uh, it's an arcane. It's arcane. Only arcane up there, nothing else. What do you mean, nothing else? Was there, was there something else? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I fell. Oh god. <laughs> Are you for real? What even is that? I don't know, but there's two things. The colliders can totally be abused here. You can literally, you don't even have to jump. It's a sack. Explorer's journal, so treasure and some quartz. Oh, there is something over there that I missed too. How do you get over here? You just jump up here? Yeah. Trigger mechanism. I can't do that while you're standing on it. Really? <laughs> We're retarded. <laughs> no, but for real, we are retarded. Uh, apparently. Well, everyone, if you play it, now you know there's an easy way to do it. Uh, this looks like it's going up. And fucking melted. <laughs> I don't even have to use my like daily skills or anything. We just melt the enemies. I love it. Wow, dude. A bag of holding, 24 slots, 1,000 zen. That's $10, right? 36 slots, 1,005. So that's $10 and five cents, I guess. But it requires you to buy more than $10 worth in order to get it. And then the final one for 42 slots would be 17 and a half bucks. I really, really, really prefer Terra's free-to-play systems over every other one I've ever seen. Whoa! This has opened up like crazy. Oh, you can go to Icewind Dale? You can go to all these different places. Holy shit. This coupon grants you a 20% off bag purchase in the Neverwinter Zen... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh boy! Oh, we know what kind of company we're company we're dealing with right now. It lasts for fifty nine minutes. Oh, I know how this company is. I have first Are you for real? 
I, 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 I played Star Trek online, so I, I know. Just get out of here. Fucking, are you for real? That is so stupid. Perfect oh, my God. World International from Perfect World Entertainment, which is now known as Art Games. First people <sighs> off. A first-time buyer's pack. Oh, great. Receive this item through in-game mail after transferring 500 Zen to your account using Arc. Or dog carrier holding a bound companion. Bag of holding. Change appearance. Retraining token. Preservation ward. Personal greater stone of health. Oh boy! You can get everything for free. I know you can convert the currency, but I've played Star Trek Online, and I am aware that once this company got involved and started doing some shit. It got really, really grindy, and I'm willing to bet it's just as grindy here. Oh, there's so many things glowing up here. I have more mail. So I'm told of your tales of your told of tales of your deeds. Though you are still young, you're already doing justice to the legacy of our people. Who the hell are you? Whenever you invoke, you will receive gifts for your devotion. Try it now, or whenever you can, in order to receive the favor of the gods. Right? You may invoke multiple times daily if you have pleased the gods, gifts will be showered down upon you. What's that hockey? Control I? I got an invocation blessing. Ritual's complete. Corellians recognize your devotion. You get 70 50% bonus rough astral diamonds, whatever the fuck that means. One Argent coin, one celestial coin. One invocation blessing. Use this to bestow the blessings of a god upon you for the next 15 minutes. Nine experience points. My next blessing is in 15 minutes. Well, get me this shit. Give me stuff, god! Give me stuff! There we go. Now we can finally buy Zen. And yes, it is literally one Zen to one penny. <laughs> you can only pay on Steam Wallet when you're playing through Steam. Things died too quickly for me to test my abilities. Sorry, I can stand idle if you want. Well, this guy is just rising. Right, my basic attack is okay, super Mr. fucking Sick quick. PU. Get out of our way. Oh, a chest over here. You're my CPU. Wait, what? Unlock trade, LFG, zone, and say chat by completing the five following quest chains Return of the Crown, Tower District, The Plague Tower, Black Dagger Ruins, Two Chains. Never death or helms hold. I can't even speak until I complete more of the game? You must have had a huge problem with gold bots. Holy shit. You must have had a huge There's fucking problem with gold bots. Boss. Yeah, our games had serious issues with gold farmers and gold sellers. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's insane! Happen. Just my ability to charge across the fucking map is crazy. My AoE works pretty nicely. I just have to remember Q. Alright, so watch this shit. Alright, you ready? You ready? Alright, so let's see. Alright, so you see that orc right there? Watch this shit. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. That is so satisfying. <laughs> Oh man, what does my R do? I already forget. It's just, it's like an AoE. Oh, oh yeah. And that's an AoE too. Actually, a lot of these are AoE. When I pull out my daggers, I have AoE for days. Look for shattered orbs in the ground. <laughs> oh God, wait, what? Wait a minute. You complete it, and then to get your reward, it takes time. Does that mean what I think it means? That does mean what I think it means, doesn't it? That means in the actual campaigns that are not the intro campaign, you might hit start and have to wait an entire day just to go to the next step. That's what that means. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Joke paca... Wait, what? That's gotta be an innuendo. Oh, 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 it's one of the... I, I, I did learn, this is like Assassin's Creed. 
This is like Assassin's Creed. You like collect them. I'm trying to figure out what the hell his name means. But I don't have chat yet, so I can't ask him. Damn it, I can't send private messages until I'm level 15 to purchase a founder pack to transfer Zen into the game. <gasps> I've acquired my first lockbox. Microtransactions! Have fun with that. Transactions! Ah! That feels like a trap. It is a trap, and I didn't even step on it, and I got hit by it. I went around it, and I got hit by it. God damn it. Colliders. That's why I went around it, because I knew stepping on it would hurt me. Fucking colliders. Being a bitch. It marks lockboxes like they're these amazing, awesome things. Like, oh my god, they're purple. Pick them up. But no one's going to be able to use them. Invoke! It's the big bad boss. He dead. Whoa, dude, that shit was so difficult. Rolling. Oh, you got it. Are, can you actually use that? I don't know. It all over also. Like, I don't get a message saying, hey, do you want to roll for it? There's nothing like that. It's the same... It's almost the same thing I have equipped. Oh yeah, it's ranger only. That's so weird. Now why did it roll when it's... It's neater greed, yeah? Yeah. Whenever we do another dungeon from this point on, make it, uh... Neater greed. It's already neater greed. Although it didn't prompt us to or, hit neater greed. Or party leader decides and set the threshold to. There's no threshold Wait, in neater greed. Well, there's that barracks key. You die now. Uh. Uh. What? Well, this may have happened because we both used the thing at the same time. But that's a hell of a bug. Alright, so it's definitely going to be at least a little bit of a thing that Neverwinter has some broken quests. I found the enemies. Oh, a mimic! I found a mimic! Oh god, it hurts! Oh god, it hurt! Go. It hurt, but it's it's got a lot of gear. And you just got, I think, two things and I got... How many? Okay, I don't know what happened. There's a lot of loot, but... Yeah. I don't quite understand, uh... The way this need or greed system's working. Because it's not prompting us to roll need or greed. Like, why why did I get some stuff that only a barbarian can use? And how come earlier you got something that only a ranger could use? This isn't need or greed. This is not how need or greed works. So apparently yeah, I just need to set this to party leader decides. Because this need or greed system does not work. It's giving things we'll to people that to don't need options. it. See if I can find anything on it. It's not prompting us to roll need or greed. It's just rolling as if we both rolled need for everything. Which is weird. So this is the door that broke. And this is the next door. At least, hey, at least this bug didn't break the entire quest. I have to invite you into my Q group. Being in a party doesn't automatically do that, apparently. That's weird. That's really, really odd. Okay, maybe we'll have more luck now. I'm suddenly loading things. Someone here must have some fancy cosmetics. 
But, uh, yeah. That's so weird. This is kind of redundant. Why do you need a quote-unquote Q group separate to your party? Praise the sun! Oh, great. A limited time off on an enchanted key. I really, really hate this. I can see the whole party's threat generation. That's pretty cool. Oh, God! Oof. You guys got... That last minute poison on me. Fucking destroyed. Holy shit. What the fuck? We probably would have found a tank and a healer if we waited long enough. I don't think a healer would have necessarily no, saved you. Ow! Well, it would have kept me ranged, so I could have kept Dusky alive. Going through these fucking injury kits is gonna be a expense, probably. I gotta figure out where to buy more. I'm just gonna stock up on like 99 of them. You must gather your party before battling a boss. It's time for the boss, boys! Let's see what no tank and no healer fighting a boss is like. Pay attention to your health, because... I'm not soloing this fucking boss. I'm not a regen tank. Why do I have the aggro? Leave me alone! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man. Ooh, Dusky! Dusky better watch out! Great, so I'm just kiting the boss everywhere, that's what's happening. <laughs> so I guess I am the tank. Did Dusky just die? Yes. Be extra careful, Demma. Use your heal items if you need to. You need to use a heal item. Demma, use your uh, your daily if you have one. Use your daily if you have. Oh, you're you dead? Where are you? <laughs> Why am I just fighting everything? <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! Ah! I'm gonna die, Demo! You better do something! Instead of just hiding over there! Oh my god, I can't believe I lived! Oh shit! Why are you just hiding over there the entire time? Who am I here to talk to? You. What? How do I complete this quest? I, I've spoken with her. It's her, right? Yeah, it's her. Wrong chick, is it? Speak with the antique scholar in Protector's Enclave. This is the antique scholar. And I'm in Protector's Enclave. And it told me to come here. Right here. To this person. I am so confused. I still have the quest. And it still just says to speak to her. The antique scholar in Protector's Enclave. Not him. The reward claims agent. The antique scholar. Her. What is happening? What am I not understanding? Is there something I'm missing? Because it clearly is leading me to her. Praise be Jesus! I'm still not used to the whole... 
Q R E thing instead of one two three four five thing. I keep hitting one and two by accident. Thank God I don't have a daily to waste. Woohoo! Did that hit me? Did that really not hit me? What what does that even do? Watching three Oh my god, why do I suddenly have a leg injury? I didn't even step on that! I didn't even step on it! Oh my god, out of instinct, I keep wanting to hit one and two. I've been going five hours and 40 minutes without any problems like this. But I, all of a sudden, I'm just suddenly reverting to my instincts of every MMO ever. And then just wanting to hit one and two and like three. <laughs> I don't know why, that's just starting all of a sudden. Break down the door! FBI, open it up! <laughs> what the fuck? Dorothea, are you having a fucking stroke again? Yeah, she is. That's why she screamed the pain. Oh, oh god. I'm all right. Oh man, women, right? Can you stop going on your period while we're in combat? Thank you very much. Only having two main DPS abilities on each of my weapons is so weird. The most I've gotten to use basic attacks since World of Warcraft. Oh, right here. The fucking quest symbol is hidden under the Black Lake District text. That's great. Maybe you should have changed how this overlays. Because this is... That's kind of funny, but it's kind of in the way. You did it! You closed the portal! Alas, it was too late for Master Tuolo. I I hate... I really hate how when a party member skips a dialogue, it stops me from having the fucking quest text open. I really, really hate that. I've tried to read, like, every quest text in this quest, and they all get shut before the guy even speaks more than a single sentence. Bella. There's a dog named Bella. Old Jerry. I saw you in my dream last night. What the fuck? We were trying to get away from these real mean dogs. But we were also the dogs. <laughs> Is it my huge scorpion tail? Is that putting you off? The venom? Dang it! One of these days I'm gonna catch those good tail Okay. I, I've come to the realization that every area except the hub is an instance and not a zone. Oh my god! That skill can make me te like teleport up, up here. That's great. I went on to play this game, stream it actually, for another couple days. As of the time of recording, I've streamed this game four separate days now for about, on average, at least seven hours each stream. I have a pretty good first impressions of the game down at this point. I'm not going to show you all that footage because that would take forever to do. But what I can do is start you off with the pros and the cons right here. But, uh, I have a lot of cons. The game's not bad. Let me clarify one thing right at the beginning of this. I really like this game. This is one of the best MMOs I've played, especially compared to the past five or six MMOs I've played. Maybe not overall. It's really fun. It's just, it's very buggy. And it has certain issues. Which are being redone, it turns out. Which I'll tell you more about. Just stick with me. So starting with the pros, the game's graphics for an MMO from 2013, an indie MMO from 2013, this these are these are pretty impressive. If we're being honest here, the pop out is almost non-existent compared to games like say Black Desert where it's atrocious and you can just see it everywhere and it's it's just it's awful. The art style's nice. It just it looks I don't know, it just looks really good. There's nothing really overly bad to say about it for the year that it came out. 
And not to mention that it looks nice, but it's also really easy to run. At 1080p, maxed out settings, even maxed out MSA anti-aliasing, I get max FPS, which I'm going to define by the game caps you at 120 FPS, which is a bit annoying. But I get that max cap of FPS at the very least in every area of the game except the main city where I get about 70 FPS. This game runs smooth. My friend Demo, who runs at 1440p gets less FPS. He also runs on a NVIDIA card. He gets less FPS. I don't know how much of it's because of the resolution, but all in all, I do think for the common player, this game runs really nice. Another pro is that this game has voice acting for literally just about everything. For an MMO, that's impressive. For a D&D game, that's more than impressive. It's absolutely impressive, and I love hearing it. And the voice acting's actually good. It's not mediocre, like, shitty voice acting. It's actually really nice. This game has a pretty wide diversity of classes and class specialization, or, or as they call it in this game, class paragons, which allow you to take your class and split it into one of two different paths, so that it's really easy to find a playstyle that actually like suits you and that you want to play. The skill system is really fucking impactful. Like, I the skills have a lot of oomph to them in sound, graphical effect, and in the damage that they do. I haven't played a healer or a tank, so I can't really vouch for how those work, but one note is that the uh, basic attacks they give you are very lacking comparably, though, in all the same areas. The game has a companion system where you can... Get an NPC and make them follow you around. And then they'll help you fight, they'll heal you, they'll try to tank for you. Whatever you have them do. And you can upgrade them just as you can upgrade yourself. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. I actually really like that this is a thing. They're not the most useful things. And quite honestly, in dungeons, they're more of a hindrance. Because they like stepping on all these like plates that trigger these traps. That will then end up hurting you or giving you injuries, which is something I hate a lot in this game. And I'll talk about that a more in a little bit here. This had to be a pro right here. This game is set in the nostalgic D&D Forgotten Realm settings with appearances, at least minor appearances, by many locations that you might be familiar with, such as Neverwinter, obviously, Baldur's Gate, and even Icewind Dale. It's... Such a blast from the past. It really makes you feel like you're back in the 2000s again. In terms of setting. Not in terms of gameplay. And a pro that I only tacked on here after completing my last stream is... One thing I noticed is the gear in this game. As you're leveling and you're getting new gear. It actually always looks cosmetically different. It's not just like... Oh, every new area you get a new chest piece and it looks slightly different. No, it's... It's something, like, completely different. And it's really cool, because not a lot of games put in the effort to doing that. There are some that look similar to the last pieces you've got. But there's so much gear in the game, and the amount of variety I've seen already, barely through the game at all, is, it's, it's impressive, guys. I'm, I'm going to clarify that. So, I have a lot of cons for this game, because there's a lot of bugs and such like that. But, uh, we're gonna try to get through this. I'm not gonna be able to fit all this shit on the screen. Unless I go about it in a different way than I usually do. But let's, let's start at the first thing. One of the first things you notice when you start the game. There is this strange thing in your way. You join the game and you're like, alright, so I'm gonna play with my friend, right? So I'm gonna add my friend and then you get a pop-up and it tells you, uh, no, you cannot add your friend until you're level 15 or have transferred Zen, the premium currency, into the game. Well, shit! Not to mention, the other half of social features, like trading, for example, also unavailable until you complete the first five quest lines of the game. I, d I can't even comprehend these choices. You also can't join a guild until you're level 15 or transfer money into the game. I... 
it seems like a weird way to force people to spend money early on if they want to access the social features without grinding through some stuff. I really hate it. I really, really hate it. Another thing I hate about this game is it lies. On Steam, if you look at it, it actually advertises that it has all this groundbreaking action combat system, which is a load of bullshit. This game does not have action combat. This game is a tab-targeting action hybrid that very, very heavily favors the tab-targeting. The game, the combat has dodging, which is only relevant for AoEs, which is a thing in tab-targeting games. It's not an action game thing. You can't dodge normal attacks because attacks in this game auto-lock. Arrows curve to hit you. And as the player, when you're fighting, you don't have to aim at your target, unless it's an AoE, which you have to do in tab targeting games anyway. If you're going to shoot someone aiming your bow with anything single target, it's going to auto-lock you. And not only does it auto-lock you, like the range is pretty generous. You can look several yards away, like a good chunk of pixels away from what you were about to attack, and it will auto-lock you onto that thing. And a lot of abilities can't even be used unless you're locked onto someone. That is a tab targeting game. You just switched out tab for left click. That is not an action game. Note this, if you're interested in this game, it is not action. Terra is action. This is not action. And claiming that this is an action game is a huge, gigantic lie. Quests in this game break a lot, like a lot, a lot, at least when playing with your friends, especially like if you interact with the same thing at the same time, or one of you completes the quest and then suddenly the NPC runs away, the other people can't complete it all of a sudden, then you have to redo it again. And this is a bug that has been acknowledged by the devs. The uh, executive producer of the game actually shows up in my stream quite often now, and he has confirmed that these are all known bugs and that they're working on them, he sent me the roadmap, and the update that's supposed to fix a lot of this is coming in Q1 of 2021. So do note, if any of the bugs that I'm going to mention to you sound game-breaking to you, they're not going to have a chance of getting fixed until at least one year from now. So you might end up putting this game off. One terrible thing about playing with friends is that for a lot of the dialogues in the game, if one person in your party goes through the dialogue then it forcibly ends it for every other person in the party. As someone that actually likes l reading things and listening to voice acting, this drives me insane because people skip through things. It triggers other things and stops me from reading and listening to the things that I want to read and listen to, which leaves me just having no idea what's happening in the game and no idea what why I'm doing what I'm doing. It also makes me miss out on some of the voice acting, which I really like about this. This game is grossly over-monetized. If you ever played a game developed by Cryptic or currently published by Perfect World Entertainment, you'll know that they're going to try to squeeze any amount of money out of you that they can. This game le lets you buy anything and everything for premium currency. It spams you with things that can only really truly be accessed by either number one, paying money, or number two, grinding a lot. Not to mention there's a there's a VIP. For every month that you subscribe to the VIP, they start hitting you with some some perks. Some really scummy perks. One thing they hit you with is, is the ability to just remove the injury system from the game, which I still have to rant to you about. Another just gives you hit points. And another just gives you free shit every day. It's like absolutely insane I, any of them gives you a free key every day that's that's more normal though but getting free shit like potions getting hit points just for being subscribed like c combat stats dude and removing an entire element of the game that actually makes going through dungeons kind of difficult you know you step on traps you get an injury you die you get an injury you pay money you no longer have to deal with this ever that is so stupidly scummy, and I hate, hate, 
hate that it's a thing. I hate it so much. It aggravates the shit out of me. Interacting with objects in this game is nigh impossible when playing with friends because when you're hitting the interact button, it will always prioritize. If there's a player anywhere near your cursor, it is going to prioritize opening your player interaction button over the object that you're trying to interact with. It's something that you will run into literally every five minutes if playing with friends. It is awful. It's awful, 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 and I wish they would fix it. The early game is really really easy. The reason this is a con is, I mean, I don't mind it. It's really satisfying to kill things really quickly for me. It makes me feel like a badass. But for most people, the lack of challenge will be boring at best. So keep that in mind. Another con is that they removed the foundry, something that was in the game that allowed players to make their own content and would also reward you like standard for playing, something like Star Trek Online had. And they removed it, and I, I know why they removed it, but I hate that they removed it, because as a player that plays these games, to experience story, do quests, things like that, that's the kind of shit in a game that would keep me playing your game for years. As it stands, whenever I beat all the quests, I'm probably just going to quit. But if that was still in the game, I would have no reason to quit, because I would have endless content in front of me. Years and years of player quests that were made, but... They just got rid of it, and I really hate that. Everything in this game is time-gated. Everything. Questing, crafting, everything. And the time-gates are monetized. And even in some cases, time-gated. Almost everything you need to do requires you to grind for something, which you can only grind for a certain amount in a certain period of time. And then when you actually do the thing, it's going to take you like 20 hours just for it to complete. It's insane how many time gates this game has. I didn't think a game could have as many time gates as this. At least not a game on PC. Like, this is some mobile game shit right here. Let's talk about that trap system that I really hate. The trap system in this game, you run over a trap and then you get injured. You die and you get injured. Maybe two traps at once, you get a severe injury, like a bigger injury, and you need bigger injury kits to get rid of your injuries. It becomes a hassle really quickly and the only other way to get rid of them is to uh other than using an injury kit is to sit at a fire for 30 seconds or pay for that vip it's so annoying like it's it's so stupidly annoying because even your companions can trigger the traps and get you injuries and you can't just stop the companions from doing it unless you just don't use the companions and that's like okay well i have to turn off an entire source of DPS and healing and tanking and all that just so that they don't get me these injuries or I have to pay real money or just stock up on injury kits. It's so annoying. It's such an annoying mechanic. I really, really hate it and I want to get rid of it. And I, I hate that the only way to get rid of it is to pay real money. Like they're, they're just trying to fuck with you at that point. There is no true need or greed system in this game. The need or greed system in most cases automatically rolls need for everybody. You get prompted with it for some things, but only some things will you actually get the choice. In most instances, it just rolls need, even when it's for like another class. I kept getting barbarian stuff, even though my friend Dem is the barbarian, and he kept getting ranger stuff, even though I was the ranger. And we couldn't trade with each other because we couldn't trade until we completed the first five major quest lines of the game or spent real money. That is awful. That is so bad. That is so bad and that needs to be fixed. This is a minor con on my end is that the skill bar is letter based instead of number based because I'm so used to MMOs where I'm using the numbers and I have multiple hot bars and I use the F keys and this game is the complete opposite. It uses almost no numbers. It relies on you pressing like Q, E, R, F and shit like that. And it's just, it's so, it's hard to adapt to if you've played other MMOs. Queuing for dungeons is set up in this weird redundant system. So let's say you try to go to do your first dungeon with your party. Uh, you're going to fuck it up. And here's why. Because you don't do dungeons with your party. There is such a thing in this game called a queue group. It's separate to the party. It's completely unrelated to the party. You can only go into a dungeon with people that are in your queue group. Your party is just irrelevant in this case. And it's weird. And they don't teach you about it. Which 
is another good point is that the tutorial doesn't teach you enough. There's a lot of stuff in this game that just never gets explained. Like the fact that there's a Q group. Why is there a Q group? Why can't I just do a fucking dungeon with my party like I can in every other MMO? I don't know. There's so many things that my stream chat has to teach me because the game doesn't teach me. Another con I have is that the game doesn't install everything when you install the game. First off, you have to install the launcher. And then the launcher patches you the entire game and all the updates. Except it's not the entire game, because you'll notice, especially when you're new, that you will see this thing at the top of your screen that says patching. All the time. All the fucking time. Because it's patching cosmetics and things other players have in every new area, like the first time you go to it. I don't even know what the hell got installed, because every time I go to a new area, it patches stuff in the middle of me playing. And for people that don't have the best internet, randomly patching shit to them while they're connected to an online game is kind of silly. <laughs> it's kind of fucking silly. And I really hate it. If I install a game, I want to install the game. I don't want to install the game minus all the stuff that I'm going to encounter that doesn't make sense. Install the game. Stop it. Just stop this stupid asset streaming shit. This is an MMO that you download. Alright, this isn't Google Stadia. Let me download the whole game. Thank you. The game is a scaling system where you could scale up or down for content. And it's completely fucking broken and everybody in the game knows it. Because all it does is scale your level and your attributes. What it doesn't do is scale all the stats related to your gear. So if you're over level for something, when you get scaled down, you're going to be probably a god because you're going to be using like, gear of your level. So in any instance, when you have to scale up, you end up super weak, you do no damage, and you die like this because of how much of your stats come from your gear. The audio in this game is completely, completely fucked up. I, I've, for every day I've played, tried to do something to fix it, and it there's nothing to do to fix it. I had the executive producer in my stream and I had to just, I was there and I pointed out to him, alright, so let me show you an example of what I mean uh, to the developer. And I showed him, one NPC, for example, will be talking at a gr normal volume, the NPC next to him will be talking at like 20 decibels up, slight exaggeration, and the next one will be talking so quiet you can't even hear him, and I can't adjust the audio slider for specific NPCs, and not to mention the music and all that shit, it just starts out so bad at the start. They need to have a professional audio mixer come through and fix their audio, because, oh my god, is it awful. <laughs> Another minor grievance, the game doesn't tell you when you get new skills. It just doesn't tell you. You have to manually check yourself. If you never think of checking, then you'll never realize you ever got any new skills. And when it comes to getting new skills at level 30, you have to pick a paragon path to even get new skills. And I really hate that. I don't, I don't like the paragon paths. It's a forced specialization. The thing about specializations is they're supposed to be special. It's supposed to be what you do if you want to focus on something specific in your class. I picked the hunter ranger. Why do I now have to pick one that either focuses the bow or focuses the daggers the class gets. Why can't I just go down the generic path? Why do I have to pick a specialization? That's not the point of specializations. I really hate that. There's apparently a well-known bug where others can appear naked when you inspect their gear and their stats don't display. You just get like all zeros. Quest indicators can become hidden on the map, hiding where you need to go because they don't overlay things correctly, they don't prioritize anything you hover over, and they just put the quest markers underneath the uh, icons for a location. Many times I've had the quests I'm doing not even show on the map, I don't know what causes this. I, I thought for a moment it was because I was over leveled for them, but even things that I was not over leveled for just do not show on the map. So I, I just don't know if that's a bug or just a bad design decision. Quest text breaks all the time, dialogue breaks all the time. It's really easy to get stuck places and the unstuck button only moves you like two inches so it doesn't help you. You have to actually kill yourself or maybe use a teleport item to actually get out of there and even that doesn't always work. 
The game reuses assets like every five inches. For example, there's one staircase that it's used in almost every single dungeon or instance that I've done. When you come out of an instance, it splits the party between instances of the map instead of just putting you all into the same instance, which is really fucking stupid. And that's really a problem considering only 15 people can be in most instances. Every day I've played this game, I've run into this server not responding bug. One time it even kicked me completely out of the game and I couldn't even re-log into the game. And it only affected me and not my friends, even though my stream was going fine. It's probably affecting other people in the server, just none of my friends got it. And it was really, really weird. Someone in the chat got it, though. So my final thoughts is, honestly, and you're, you're gonna get the wrong idea from that pro and cons list, but... I really like this game, it's a lot of fun, I'm having a ton of fun playing it, but it's buggy as shit and has a bunch of bad design choices about it. It's stuff they said they're working on and maybe they will fix it, but quite frankly, I'm gonna be done with the game by the time they manage to do that, probably. So keep that in mind, if a lot of this stuff bugs you, wait until 2021 to play it, because that's when they said they're gonna be fixing a lot of this stuff, or be trying to fix it. As it stands, would I recommend you play the game? Yeah, it's fun. If you're playing solo, you'll experience far less bugs. I'm sure someone is already typed in the comments, Oh, I didn't get any of the stuff you experienced. Maybe you're just bad. Maybe, maybe, and it's just probably someone I'm just going to ban from the channel because people don't listen. They just hear one thing and go crazy. But yeah, that's my whole first impressions. And damn, was it long. But thank you very, very much for watching. Check out our community server in the description. You can hang out with us there, play some Neverwinter, whatever the fuck you want to play with us there. Whole lot of fun, we'd love to have you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.